guys, I know it's been a minute, but I am back and I have videos lined up for you guys. So today I will be jumping right into this video today. And um, this is actually gonna be like a two part video. Uh, Eva Hair Company did send me over two wigs. Um, one was an HD lace um, straight wig and the other one was a curly wig. So um, this first video will be the installation with the curly wig. And then the second installation will be the video with the straight wig. So as I mentioned before, both of these wigs will be provided from Eva's hair company. But we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this tutorial. Now today I will be installing this fake scalp wig. Now what a fake scalp wig is pretty much a wig that has the cloth under, uh, underneath it. And that way you really don't have to add, you know, like any foundation or you don't have to really wear a stocking cap um, underneath the lace. And they did leave about an inch of just, you know, lace by itself. That way I was able to put uh, her foundation color underneath. And I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to install this wig. Now for today's styling, um, I just wanted to keep it really natural, cute, and simple. So I did do two braids, but I did do the part on the side versus the part being in the middle with the braids. And I just pretty much connected the braids. And I didn't do any baby hairs or anything like that, just very much scalp tees. And um, I did not pluck this wig at all. Like pretty much how you see this wig is how it came. All I did was I did bleach the knots of the, you know, just that little inch of lace that was out. I still did go ahead and bleach those knots and I went ahead and shampooed the wig and I'm going to begin to install. I will be using Bold Hole Active. Um, now I will actually be using this glue way more often because they do have it here um, in the hair stores in Miami now. So I'm really, really excited about that um, at Elegant Beauty Supply. So you guys will see me use pretty much this uh, bold hole now instead of that ghost bond lace glue. Um, but yes, you can use either glue. Um, it's pretty much the same way. You just want to spread the glue out till it turns clear and then you can add up as you know many layers as you please. Yeah. But um, for today, I will be going ahead and doing four layers of that bold hole active. And then I will begin to um, apply the wig down, blow dry it, melt the lace and so forth. So now that I have applied all of the glue, I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to pull that lace down into that glue. And I just like to work side by side. I like to get one side uh, into that glue where it needs to be. And then I just continue to pull that lace down on the other side. Now you can actually pull the lace in the middle first and then go side by side. But for today, I did go down the middle first and then I pulled uh, each side. And I'm just going to blow dry that uh, lace down into that glue using that, you know, blow drying it on a heat setting. I always use warm heat. Um, it's just my preference, but I feel like it helps that lace melt down just a little bit better. So I always use the heat setting when I am doing this step. And I also take my tail comb and just comb that lace into that glue because that also pushes that lace into that glue without having that mashed, messy, like turning white, turning black type of look. So you just wanna apply pressure, but don't necessarily mash that in. And then I just like to go in with my hands and just pull the hair back into that glue. But once I am done blowing, drying um, all of that in, I will go ahead and begin to cut off the extra lace using my scissors. When you are cutting the lace off with the scissors, you do wanna, you know, make sure that you do go in like a, um, you know, um, zigzag, <laughs> zigzag motion because that just, you know, give it a more of a natural look. So I do cut that lace off in zigzag. And also, um, I really love this wig because I really love how natural like it came. One, as far as the plucking, I like I said, I did not have to pluck anything at all. And it's just like the lace blended so perfectly in once I put that foundation underneath and everything like that. 
but here I am just cutting off that extra lace from around the ears which is a very important step you guys do not want to miss some people have the lace glued on top of people's ears you'll be surprised how many people do that so just make sure you do take the time out to make that wig fit perfect to their head you know cut that extra lace off and everything like that and pretty much what I do to one side I'm just going to repeat the same exact steps to the other side and as I mentioned this will be a no baby hair installation it would just be like a cute braided top you know look and it was very 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 scalpiana when i was finished so i loved this wig and the results that it gave off now just being completely honest guys quality of the wig does matter um and of course the installation of the wig is just as important but when you do have quality hair it you know you can achieve the most bestest results ever and that's why I really like these uh, two wigs that Eva Hair, you know, did send over to me. As I mentioned, this is a fake scalp wig and it did leave that like inch of, you know, space that uh like the inch of natural lace space that way i was able to like i mentioned you know apply that foundation and everything like that and bleach that so it did look extra 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 natural but even with that hd lace wig as well which you guys will see in my uh straight hair tutorial um that was that wig is also from this same company and it was just as flawless um and it would have it was hd lace so like i mentioned it it's very important to have quality hair and that also help you achieve the best looks because in all honesty um i did this installation the same way i would do any other you know lace wig install but it just came out so 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 bomb and that was because the quality of this lace was everything so guys go ahead and check out the description details i highly recommend this company and I just like love both the wigs they provided me with. So that's why we even with this installation, I didn't even want to add any baby hair. So it was just so much scalp. I just like, you know, I have to just leave it as is. But nevertheless, now that I have all that extra lace cut off and I have everything glued down, I am gonna go ahead and take my bed head, of course, and spray that bed head across the hairline and then um use my melt belt to secure that and guys forgive me if you ordered a melt belt and it's been a little time you know I was sold out but I'm back in stock and I am shipping out tomorrow ASAP so I will be updating uh, tracking numbers on tomorrow before I leave to New Orleans on Friday so or Thursday so um yeah stay tuned for that but y'all see this is scalp though honey very much scalp and this is why I love quality laces like it looks so freaking bomb and I'm just going to take my bed head as I mentioned this is my second step uh, melting process that I do and I absolutely love it and what I'm doing is just combing all the hair back from the spray because I did want to keep that natural looking hairline um, usually I like part it off to where you know I part some of the hair down for the baby hairs but I did not do it whatsoever today because I just wanted everything to flow and be back so yeah I'm going to go ahead and tie that down let that you know secure and melt on into that hairline and then we'll come back with how it looks once i remove it so now it's time to go ahead and remove that elastic band then boom honey straight yeah. scalp beads Anna, y'all see that it looks so good it looks so good like so good so good so good i was really really pleased with this install and as i mentioned i will be doing the two braids for the styling portion like even if she would have put this hair in a ponytail it would have just been so raw because it's so freaking natural and i love the curl pattern this wig came in it was just so bomb.com like i literally have no complaints and this hair was extremely extremely soft like even brushed out like how it is um it was like so soft but nevertheless um I am going to do the, you know, the braiding for this hair. Like I said, doing the side part with the two braids. And I'm going to wet the hair once I have the braids completed. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a part on the side. But first, I, before I even begin to part it off, I am just going to go ahead and hot comb those, those roots out. 
and uh, just part off the section of the hair that I'm going to braid. I did just part off like a little area. I didn't braid all of the top hair, but you know, just like some of it. I didn't want the braids to be extremely thick. And then the hair that I have parted off in the back, I'm just going to take my wax stick and my hot comb and just press that down really, really flat. And also going with that bed head spray. The bed head is really what's going to get that hair molded down in the back. That way, when I connect the two braids, it's very, very uh, smooth and neat. But I did take some of that bed head spray on top of the hair that I'm going to braid just so it can capture, uh, just so I can capture all of the hair and it's nothing like frizzy or anything like that. And I am just doing two regular uh, over braids. I didn't do any under braids for this install because I liked it, the over braid look. So I'm just gonna go ahead um, and braid that. And then uh, once I braid this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and braid up the other side. So now that I have that side all braided up, I'm just gonna go ahead and be begin to braid this other side here. And then I'm going to continue to like pretty much um, get the back all situated with that bed head, spraying and molding it down. That way I am able to connect the braids. And I will connect the braids just using um, some bobby pins pretty much just like two or three bobby pins and just like over crossing the braids and pinning that down and I will braid the rest of it down so it looks you know a little bit neater but like I mentioned that is all after I mold the back down first I have the front all braided and I'm just going to braid that down it just looks so freaking good guys I can't stop looking at the hairline like lace wear period but y'all know <laughs> y'all know what time it is And as I mentioned, I am going to go ahead and um, smooth that out with that bed head. And then I'm just going to take um, the braids and connect them. But I'm also going to wet the hair up too. Like just using conditioner and water in a spray bottle, I am going to wet the hair up. That way I can get those curls good and popping. And it, like the curls just make the style so much more complete. Like that's why I am going to wet the hair up. If you don't want to wet the hair, you know, wet the hair, you can just wear it in a natural curly pattern that it comes in but if you really want it to be like bam 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 then just go ahead and wet the hair up and um with that water and conditioner and just you know get the curls popping but all I did was just take the two braids and I just pulled it 
uh, neatly, like backwards, um, like how you see her, so how you see me pulling it and how she's holding it. Um, I liked it, the braids like that. Some people tuck the braids under the weave, but for this look today, I did want to do like the braids on top of the hair. And it just gave me like very much like Rapunzel. I was definitely feeling it, but now I'm just going to go ahead and finish braiding down the ends of that hair because I did not want to leave it loose and then just wet it. I actually wanted to braid it like as far down as possible because it looked it, um, I knew it would look neater that way. So pretty much what I'm doing here, I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side as well. So now I'm just going to go ahead and wet that hair up. I'm just using water and conditioner spray bottle and just wet it up, wet it up, wet it up, comb it out, wet it up. But then I'm actually going to pull like the hair that I have behind the ears. I'm actually going to pull it kind of downward a little bit just so it can fall towards the front. And as I mentioned, I did not do any baby hairs for this look. You guys can kind of see me like pulling it towards the front and just combing those curls out. And pretty much this is like, this completes the installation. I'm gonna, you know, swing her around so you guys can see the back and how it looks and everything like that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this install. Let me know what you think about it. Um, this hair, as I mentioned before, is provided by Eva's Wig Hair. So make sure you check out the description down below. But before I go, of course, I have to conceal that part out. So I'm just gonna take that black spray and um you know take my concealer and conceal the part and then then i will be complete so thank you guys for tuning into i am beautiful hustle tv i am back y'all and working hard so stay tuned for all these uploads that's coming back to back to back to back i hope you guys enjoy this look and thank you for watching